हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड वेलकम टू द क्रिएटिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अ फ्रेश सेशन ऑफ एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स व्हेन आई से वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक आई मीन इट वी विल बी लर्निंग फ्रॉम द वेरी वेरी बेसिक लेवल टू द वेरी एडवांस लेवल अलॉन्ग विद अ लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ फॉर माई फ्रेंड हु इज मीटिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम my dear friends my name is ankit goel i got air1 twice in gate in 2014 and 2018 i was awarded the president of india gold medal in the year 2013 when i graduated from iit indore till date i have trained more than 1 lakh student in the online and the offline classes and presently working as a director at an academy for gate department but my dear friends the reason behind this series is because of the huge demand of analog electronics and the belief the belief that whenever you ask for anything we are there to deliver yes my dear friends we are here for you we are here delivering for you and when we say it we'll support you to the very very fullest level and this series will help you crack gate with a top rank it will enable ec student to get 12 out of 12 and 5 out of 5 for electrical students So my dear friends if you want to learn with us live then you can join an academy using the code ankit ese to get an immediate 10% discount and not only my dear friend 10% discount it also brings you under my guidance so that i can help you do something that i have done i can at least take you near to this goal okay so if you also dream the same thing then join me in this journey on an academy subscription using the code ankit ese Now my dear friend if you like the content that I deliver you can watch more of my free videos on this URL tinyurl.com/ankitese here you will find all my videos arranged subject wise chapter wise and you will find great content for free and you are definitely going to love it you are definitely going to enjoy it not only includes conceptual videos but it also includes problem solving sessions so just visit this once and you will fall in love with this URL Don't forget it it is a lifeline for you and if you love the content that we are delivering on YouTube we have created the first ever video book for you guys where you will find all the videos along with all the all the notes that we provide arranged subject wise chapter wise so now my dear friends your dreams are no longer dreams they are becoming a reality because you are getting a top quality course well arranged well structured and that too for free so what can be better than that what can be better than that nothing nothing my dear friends so we have empowered the dreams of those who earlier used to think that only the person with a huge amount of money can crack gate with a top rank no my dear friends that is not the case even you can do even you can do it but yes just you need to believe in yourself and visit this link but remember this is a case sensitive link so write this in upper case other than that if you join plus subscription you get all the top educators like me teaching you live in daily lectures along with providing you daily practice paper weekly quiz test series previous year question practice question crash course rank improvement batch and most importantly clearing your each and every doubt so if you join plus subscription it is an entire world inside it so you don't have to look outside once you enter plus every need of yours will be taken care of and we will make your journey as smooth as possible towards that destination of getting under 100 under 10 rank believe me my friend you leave that strategy part to us you leave the content part to us you just work hard and we will make sure that you obtain the top rank in gate and ese and iconic iconic is a big brother of plus yes this is a little brother so iconic gives you everything that the plus subscription gives along with much more the major part of iconic is this personal coach a person dedicated to you on a daily basis to get you the top rank guiding you getting your schedule design making your strategy everything that you need to get the top rank is being done by this personal coach he'll also create a study planner for you which you can follow blindly and reach your destination with utmost ease they will be analyzing your test result and tell you where you are lacking how you can improve so that way my dear friend everybody else will get a standard analysis but you will get a analysis just tailor made for you 
Along with it, we have included study material additionally, theory and question bank. And soon we'll be introducing interview guidance into this. So this will become a complete package for a student who wants to take that journey from being an average student to sitting into a PSU or a M-Tech seat. So for them, this journey will be just like driving a Lamborghini to work. So that sort of a experience, that sort of a royal experience we are going to give you. So let's move on to the lecture. And if you want to join an academy, just make sure you use the code Ankit ESE to get my guidance as well as to get 10% over and above whatever an academy offers you. So now let's move on to the lecture, dear friends, and let's see what we have in store for you. Hi guys, in this lecture, we'll continue from where we left off. So first, let me tell you what we covered in the previous video. We covered construction of BJT. I told you about how base region, emitter region, collector region is constructed. Then we studied about doping profile of BJT in which I told you that emitter doping is much higher than base doping, which is higher than collector. And I told you other constructional features also like base is thin, collector has maximum area, light doping is in order to increase the breakdown voltage, maximum area to dissipate the heat, base is kept thin to minimize recombination. Then I told you the types of BJT that there are generally two types of BJT in which one was NPN and other was simply PNP. Then we studied about working of transistor or we call it as transistor action. In this transistor action I told you I is majority due to the holes going from emitter to base and this I expressed as Okay, but remember this was for PNP. Then I told you collector current was IC1 plus ICBO. ICBO was reverse saturation current that doubles for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature. And IC1 was alpha F into IE1. Similarly, IB was approximately IB1. And this is due to electrons supplied by battery. Okay, now we again told that IC1 is beta F into IB1. So these were the relations that we studied in the BJT. So we'll continue our study from here itself. So first we'll talk about the transistor current relationship. Now in the last lecture, as I told you, IC is now alpha F I am writing as alpha, alpha IE plus I C B U. From now onwards, you will also use alpha. Now in a BJT, if you see, suppose if it is a PNP type of transistor, what are the current directions? This is I E, I B, I C. Based on arrow, I told you this is PNP. Now, if you just see it as a device, there is one current entering into the device and two currents are leaving. So if I apply KCL, remember this relation is always true for any type of BJT, NPN or PNP. So the current relationship that we are studying in this section are true for NPN as well as PNP. And this is the universal KCL. So if you apply this KCL in the above equation, you will write IE as IB plus IC. Now there is one term of IC on the left hand side and one term on the right hand side. If I bring both to the left hand side, I will write like this. Now, if you want to find out IC, divide both sides by 1 minus alpha. Okay, this we write as
because when IB is coming, then we'll use beta. Now that means beta is also the current gain and it is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha, which means 1 minus alpha into beta is equal to alpha. So alpha is simply beta by 1 plus beta, which is less than 1 and beta is greater than 1. Similarly, if we find out 1 minus alpha, 1 minus alpha is alpha by beta, which is 1 plus beta. From this relation, I am writing alpha by beta is, sorry, alpha by beta is 1 upon 1 plus beta. Okay, first I have used this, then I have used this. Now, which means beta IB. Now, 1 minus alpha is 1 over 1 plus beta. So, if I substitute 1 minus alpha here, it will become, okay. And this current 1 plus beta ICBO is also written as ICEO. So, we call IC is beta IB plus ICEO. The significance of ICEO, I will tell you later on, what does this mean? This also has a particular significance, but right now let us only stick to ICBO. So here, what you have to remember in this section, first one is this KCL, okay? The second thing is about current gain for IC versus IE, IC upon IE, it is alpha, and IC upon IB is beta and beta and alpha are related to each other like beta equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha and alpha equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Always remember alpha is less than 1 whereas beta is greater than 1. Now from now on what we'll do is we'll understand the connections of BJT in different configuration. Now see First thing that you need to understand, we have three terminals in a BJT, right? The three terminals are emitter, base and collector. But if you consider a two port network, if you consider a two port network, how many terminals are required? We need four terminals. Two terminals are needed for the input and two terminals are needed for the output. So we need a total of four terminals. But right now we only have three terminals, emitter, base and collector. So in order to behave it as a two port network, in order to treat it as a two port network, we need to make one terminal common. Okay. Instead of having four terminals, one terminal will be common between input and output and rest two terminals will be used as input and output. That is why when we talk about BJT configuration, we use the term common. One terminal has to be common like common base, common emitter or common collector. One terminal has to be kept common. So from now on in the next few lecture, I'll discuss with you the three possible configuration, common base, common emitter and common collector. Now if you see the circuit on your screen, it is a NPN transistor. Okay, this is a NPN type of transistor. Here if you see one battery is connected to emitter, one battery is connected to collector, which means this base terminal is common. The input we are taking at the emitter and the output we are taking at the collector. Okay, this is IE. Now, if you see the positive terminal of VEE is connected to P, negative terminal to N. What you can say? That emitter base junction is forward bias. In collector, if you see the positive terminal is connected to N and the negative terminal to P. So, what you can say? Collector base junction is reverse bias. Okay? That is, we are talking about active mode of operation. Now, as I have told you, emitter current is simply 
I E S e to the power. It is N P N. So V E B. We will not take V E B, but V B E. Why B E? Because the voltage of a diode is taken from P to N. P is base and N is emitter. V B E by eta V T minus one. Now, when we talk about input characteristics, when we talk about input characteristic, it is between input current and input voltage. Input is taken as input is taken at base emitter junction and output as collector base. Okay, remember this. So, input current is I E. And input voltage is V B E. So based on the equation that I have written, this is an exponential equation. So how will be the graph? The graph will look something like this. But in this graph, we will keep V C B equal to constant. You don't change the voltage of the output terminal. But we are just varying the input voltage and we are calculating the output, sorry, input current. Now, if we take the ratio of input voltage and current, then we will get the input resistance. So, if we talk about input resistance, then we write it as RE. It is delta VBE by delta. I E, or we somewhat like write like this: del V B E by del I E. In a P-N junction diode, how do we find the resistance? The resistance is simply thermal voltage by current. Okay, base emitter junction is nothing but a P-N junction diode, so the resistance is thermal voltage by current. The thermal voltage is given as K T by that is approximately 26 millivolt this 26 millivolt always remember that it is only for 300 kelvin and not for all the temperature okay so this resistance re will also be used later on this resistance i have directly used how because in diode we derived the diffusion resistance there we saw diffusion resistance is nothing but thermal voltage by diode current so here diode current is IE, so thermal voltage by IE. Now similarly, we talk about output characteristics. Just as we have seen input characteristics, we can talk about output characteristic. I told you that collector base junction is output. It is acting as the output terminal. So, we draw this characteristic IC versus VCB. Now, we know IC is alpha IE plus ICBO. That means from what we have learned so far, we can say IC is independent of VCB and it only depends on IE. Okay, it is always independent of VCB. So ideally, what happens if I draw the graph between IC and VCB, this graph will come out to be constant or you can say straight line like this. Okay, that is an ideal case. I will tell you why it is not practically occurring. But remember, IC depends on IE and that is why I am saying it is independent of VCB. Now, in order to understand why it is not practical, we study something called as early effect. Now, early was a scientist and the effect that he described is called as early effect. This early effect is also known by one other name, which is called as base width modulation now as i have told you in a npn or pnp transistor in active region we keep 
एमीटर बेस जंक्शन एज फॉरवर्ड बायस एंड कलेक्टर बेस जंक्शन एज रिवर्स बायस सपोज दिस इज एमीटर दिस इज बेस एंड दिस इज कलेक्टर नाउ सिंस कलेक्टर बेस जंक्शन इज रिवर्स बायस आई एम एज्यूमिंग इट इज एन पी एन so due to reverse biasing there will be a depletion layer in p region there will be negative charge ion because they are acceptor impurity they have accepted an electron in collector due to donor there will be positive ions since collector region is lightly doped depletion layer will be more in collector and less in base okay this is your depletion width now see if you want to understand the operation of a bjt see like this this is the electric field i'll i'm explaining one more point here actually so here we have electron these electrons go into the base region why they are going into the base region they are going into the base region due to forward biasing and we know in forward biasing there is diffusion current okay now see this electric field this electric field is from collector to emitter so it will apply a force on the electron in the opposite direction so electrons will come into collector okay that means reverse bias collector base region is not opposing the flow of electrons but it is helping the flow of electrons it is supporting the flow of electrons are you getting my point due to reverse bias region electric field is created in such a direction that the electrons coming from emitter to base will feel a force towards collector and when they feel a force towards collector they will be flowing towards the collector and that is how basically a transistor or a bjt operates now see this thing this was the depletion width sorry this was the base width now due to depletion the effective base width is reduced we can say due to depletion the effective base width has been reduced from the earlier value and that is why i was calling it as base width modulation that is the change in the base width so what we can say as reverse bias across cb junction increases as you increase the reverse bias across collector base junction we know depletion layer grows if depletion layer grows then what happens base width reduces okay the base width will reduce because depletion layer is growing now as i told you the emitter current or the electrons going from emitter to base is due to this diffusion phenomena in the semiconductor physics i told you that diffusion current diffusion current density is e dn dn by dx this is for electron okay e dn dn by dx this dn by dx is called as concentration gradient for electron now see as this base width is reducing this is the base width as this base width is reducing this dx is reducing if dx is reducing you can say concentration gradient increases due to reduction in base width you can say dn by dx increases that means diffusion current density increases and you can say ie increases are you getting my point or if you reduce the base width the emitter current will increase now we know ic is nothing but it is alpha ie plus icbo if we are increasing vcb 
then base width is reducing i e is increasing and if i e is increasing i c will also increase so we can say i c is not independent of v c b but i c increases with increase in v c b so earlier the ideal case that i told you i c remains constant with v c b is not exactly true it is false but we can say i c increases with increase in v c b so now this phenomena is basically called as early effect if we see the early effect in the input and the output characteristics that we have studied just now in input characteristics we were plotting in ie versus vb output characteristics ic versus vcb in input i told you it is an exponential characteristic like this so for the same base emitter voltage emitter current will be higher when as i told you as vcb increases ie increases so i will say emitter current will be higher when vcb is higher so green curve corresponds to a higher voltage whereas blue curve corresponds to a lower voltage in ic if we talk about the characteristics it will not be a straight line but ic will increase with increase in vcb so it will be like this the slope will be very less suppose this is ic versus vb vcb but we know ic also depends on ie suppose i say ie equal to 1 milli ampere if ie is increase ic will again increase okay because ic depends on ie now when you extrapolate one minute let me do one thing let me increase okay when you extrapolate these curves then they meet here on this axis then they meet here on this axis and this point is called as va va is called as early voltage okay so that is your early effect that is ic will increase with vcb and it will not be constant now if you see this curve has a finite slope the slope of this curve will be delta ic by delta vcb current upon voltage is conductance so conductance is 1 upon resistance so i'll say output resistance is 1 by slope 1 by slope means delta vcb by delta ic and it comes out to be va upon ic okay va means early voltage divided by collector current so what is the early effect early effect means as we increase the reverse bias voltage across the collector base junction the depletion layer grows in the base region due to which effective base width reduces and due to reduction in the base width due to reduction in the base width the concentration gradient increases and the diffusion current from emitter into base increases due to increase in diffusion current ie as well as ic increases now in early effect there is a term called as punch through punch through means if c you are increasing the reverse bias this depletion layer is growing on both the sides after certain time the entire base region will be depleted that means this wb dash will become zero wb dash becoming zero means entire base is depleted and that phenomena is called as punch through 
Okay, so punch through is a condition in which we have increased the reverse bias voltage to such an extent that the entire base region becomes depleted. Okay, so we have to make sure that the width of base is sufficient that punch through does not occur. Punch through is never desirable. So if I write what is punch through? If VCB, I am writing it down for you, increases to a high value, base region is entirely depleted. This condition is called as punch through. Why it is undesirable? Because it increases the power dissipation in the transistor and it can damage the device. So whenever we are designing any device, we have to make sure that punch through never occurs in any sort of the device. Now when we talk about transfer characteristic, what does transfer characteristic means? It means output versus input. Like in case of clippers we were drawing. So in transfer characteristic, we have two characteristics in this case. IC versus IE. Collector current was output current and emitter current was input current. So how these characteristics look like? We know that IC is nothing but alpha IE plus ICBO. Means when IE is zero, the current will be ICBO. So the curve will be a straight line and its intercept. The intercept on Y axis will be ICBO and the slope of the curve will be equal to alpha. The other characteristic is called as IC versus VEB or VB. If we are talking about NPN transistor, we'll take VB. Why I am taking this characteristic is IC depends on IE and we know that IE is a function of VBE. I wrote this equation. Okay, so IC will also depend on I VB. Since IE varies exponential with VBE, the same sort of variation is observed for IC. It will also vary like this. Okay, this is the transfer characteristic of BJT in common base configuration. Now here we define a term called as transconductance. Transconductance means transfer conductance. Transfer conductance means ratio of output current upon input voltage. Okay. Transfer why? Because it is the ratio of output and input. Conductance because it is ratio of current and voltage. So it is delta IC by delta VB. Okay. Since IC is approximately equal to IE, delta IE by delta VB. Now we have just now seen in input characteristic ratio of VB and IE is RE. So this transconductance is 1 by RE. Is this point clear to you? Always remember, I have just approximated it because IC is approximately equal to IE. So it is reciprocal of the input resistance RE. Next we talk about leakage current in a BJT. I know that collector current is alpha IE plus ICBO. Which means if IE is 0, IE is 0 means emitter is open. Then collector current is ICBO. It means collector base reverse saturation current with emitter open. I In the last video, I also told you about another type of leakage current, ICO, 
which includes surface current as well as ICBO. Now we know that collector base junction is reverse bias. And I told you due to light doping, what we observe in reverse bias region is avalanche breakdown. So if you increase the collector base voltage above the breakdown voltage, then IC increases rapidly. Okay, so that means if we draw the graph between IC and VCB, the graph will increase slightly due to early effect. But as soon as you reach BVCB, that is the breakdown voltage, the graph will suddenly increase. Okay, this current here is ICBO and the current in this region is called as M into ICBO. What is this M actually? This M is called as multiplication factor. That means if I enter the breakdown region, then collector current will increase by a factor called as multiplication factor. Why multiply? Because in avalanche breakdown, whenever electron strikes an atom, it releases other electron or you can say electron concentration keeps getting multiplied or keeps getting increased. This M in our case comes out to be 1 over 1 minus VCB by BVCB to the power N. Here N lies between 3 and 6. Okay. So remember, if you increase the reverse bias voltage above the breakdown voltage, the collector base junction will break down and the collector base current or the collector base reverse saturation current will increase rapidly. Now, once we have seen the different characteristics in case of common base configuration, let us see some characteristic or observation. First, it has lowest input resistance which was RE, it is less than 100 ohm. Second, it has highest output resistance. Output resistance we just now saw delta VCB by IC. Then lowest current gain. The current gain was alpha, which is less than 1. So it has lowest current gain then highest voltage gain. Voltage gain we will derive later on when we will study amplifiers. The product of voltage gain and current gain is called as power gain. So it is moderate. AP means power gain. AV means voltage gain. AI means current gain. Okay. Then zero phase shift. It means if you apply an input Vm sin omega t, you will get an output Vm dash sin omega t. That means there will be no shift of phase in a sinusoidal input. And the last one, it has larger bandwidth. Bandwidth means the range of frequency that can be amplified. So it can amplify a large range of frequency. What about application? It can be used as constant current source because output current and input current are almost same. It has current gain which is almost equal to 1. It is less than 1 but almost equal to 1. Non-inverting amplifier. Why non-inverting? Inverting means if input is Vm sin omega t, the output is minus Vm sin omega t or you can say Vm, sorry, Vm dash, Vm dash sine omega t plus 180. So phase shift of 180, since it is offering zero phase shift, it is non-inverting. Third one, impedance matching. How impedance matching? If you see the output impedance is high and input impedance is low, that means if we refer this output resistance to input, we can convert high resistance to low same as a transformer. Then high frequency amplifier. Why high frequency? 
बिकॉज इट ऑफर लार्जर बैंडवेड और इट कैन एम्पलीफाई अ लार्ज रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इफ आई समराइज वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट ट्रांजिस्टर करेंट रिलेशन आई ई इक्वल टू आई सी प्लस आई बी आई सी वन इज अल्फा आई ई और आई सी वन इज बीटा आई बी अल्फा इज बीटा ओवर वन प्लस बीटा एंड बीटा इक्वल टू अल्फा ओवर वन माइनस अल्फा देन वी सॉ कॉमन बेस कॉन्फिग्रेशन द इनपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज अ कर्व बिटवीन आई ई एंड वी बी ई दैट इज एक्सपोनशियल कर्व फ्रॉम हेयर वी डिराइव द इनपुट रजिस्टेंस विच इज वी टी ओवर आई ई देन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट आउटपुट रिलेशनशिप आई सी वर्जेज वी सी बी दिस वॉज इंक्रीजिंग कर्व वाई इंक्रीजिंग ड्यू टू अर्ली इफेक्ट इन अर्ली इफेक्ट वट आई टोल्ड यू एज वी सी बी इंक्रीजेस बेस विथ रिड्यूसेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट इंक्रीजेस सो आई ई एंड आई सी इंक्रीजेस देन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट ट्रांसफर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दैट वॉज बिटवीन आई ई आई सी एंड आई ई और आई सी वर्जेस वी ई बी here we define transconductance which was coming out to be 1 by re and i also introduced you to a term called as punch through and then we saw the application of a common base configuration of bjt okay that much we have learnt in this video so here you just have to remember the basic characteristic of common base configuration which can be asked in a theory type of question in ese examination but not very important from gate point of view thank you i hope all of you have enjoyed the lecture that we were providing and all of you learned something very very good now is the time to learn about the an academy subscription so as i told the benefits of the plus subscription at the very beginning let's go through them very very quickly live classes you get by the top educators crash course rank improvement batch doubt clearing weekly quiz test series previous year question practice question everything in one subscription called as an academy plus and iconic iconic is one level higher it provides you a personal coach who will mentor you on a daily basis who will guide you on a daily basis along with providing you study planner test analysis study material and soon enough interview guidance so if you are looking to join an academy let's see what are the pricing So my dear friends before we see the pricing just see the link this link will help you crack gate and esc with the top rank because we have created the first ever video book for gate and esc for my youtube family and you will get the notes as well as the lectures here just make sure that you write this link in the upper case and you will get to the first ever video book for gate and esc and it is nothing but revolutionary Now let's see the pricing of plus subscription. So for twelve months the pricing is thirty two fifty. But if you apply the code Ankit ESC, it becomes twenty seven to twenty five. For eighteen months it will be thirty four six fifty, and for twenty four months thirty nine six hundred. Believe me, my dear friend, this is the most affordable pricing, and the longer duration subscriptions are more cost effective as compared to shorter duration. Like here, it will cost you. Sixteen fifty per month. Okay, this will be two thousand per month. Approx. This will be around twenty two fifty per month. Then, if you go for iconic for twenty twelve months, it is fifty two fifty with code Ankit ES. It becomes forty five two twenty five. And two year subscription becomes sixty six six hundred. So the choice is your. But take a longer duration subscription for more cost effective solution and to give gate and ES at least two times. so that if you once crack gate in the next attempt you can even get esc and other than that my friends you can download the an academy learning app right now because there we provide live classes for free test series prac uh, and live quizzes for free and once you download it make sure that you follow this profile this is my profile so that whenever i come live you will get the notification and this is the telegram channel for our team here you will find all the lecture links 
all the lecture files and all the links for the special classes. Other than that, my friend, my personal telegram channel also you can join t.me slash gate AIR1. Here you can get in touch with me and we can take this journey together. Okay. Other than that, we have other YouTube channels like Mechanical, Civil and Telugu, JE channel, Computer Science, Gate Question and Electrical Junction, Part Shala and GS Terminal. Electrical Junction contains short videos of great concepts. Part Shala provides you animated content. JE preparation can be done through these two channels, Unacademy SSC JE and GS Terminal. And you can refer the other channels to the other friends in respective branches so that they can also be benefited. At last, I would like to say, please share, like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel and not only subscribe, press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video comes. And share this videos among all your college group, among all your friends so that we can create the first ever revolution of free education in field of gate and ESE. A thank you to everybody for dedicating time to watching this video. Please move on to the next one as well and take, take the benefit of all the free content that we are providing. And in case you have completed the series, do make sure you watch the other subjects available on this channel. Thank you.